Good morning, Slap and Blackjack here. We're in Albany, New York, just behind a super friendly uh, Walmart. Great charging little station over there. Like literally six hobos could charge up. It's like fucking eight plugs. There's no sketchy people around here. It's a very clean Walmart. I was in a little camo wrap up in this tarp. No one could see me last night. It was way dark down there. And it was or up here and, and really light down there. So it was a decent little camp hideout. Okay, I get a lot of people asking me what to bring uh, when you're train hopping slash backpacking. And, um, you know, while I got all my gear laid out, I'll go ahead, everybody. All right, so if you're going out hiking for a seasonal trip and you know you're just gonna be out in the summer or the winter, you can bring a little bit less gear because the name of the game is have a light pack and being able to move, you know. Um, but uh, train hopping is a little different than backpacking because one week you can be on top of a mountain outside of Denver where you've literally, I've got everything on in my sleeping bags, thermals, two, uh, beanies all that and I'm still cold and then you know less than a week later I'm shooting through Nebraska in a hundred plus degree temperatures so I travel with thing that I need all year round because I do this shit and I really don't go home but maybe once or twice a year okay so first and foremost you need a blackjack every traveler needs a blackjack in fact if uh, you don't have one, that's kind of sketchy because a lot of people that are out here traveling are traveling because we don't really fuck with a whole lot of other people, but we do fuck with animals. So travelers that don't fuck with animals or people can sometimes be sketchy. So that's not always the case, but a dog is a good thing. That First and foremost, you have to have a good pack. Yeah, you know, uh, or one that's good for you. I can, you know, I've made my own before out of sea bags but uh you really cannot beat an off spray you know i've had this thing so long that i just plumb wore the off spray logo off you know i've altered it done a lot of different things to it a good pack 70 liters or better to get you in the game for train hopping anything smaller is just not gonna work all right Make sure you have a compass. This can save your life. Make sure you know how to use a compass. Nowadays, you know, your cell phone, not always gonna get signal. Uh, you're relied upon battery, this, that, and the other. Uh, fuck around and not know how to navigate and be up in the woods. So bring a compass, dude. The thing was 20 bucks, clips right on my pack, hardly any weight. Okay, Sharpie, in case you get in a jam and have to fly a sign, you know? Uh, that's just the reality of traveling. If you do this shit long enough, I don't care how smart you are, how hard of a worker you are, uh, you might get in a jam, dude, so a Sharpie can get you out of one. That's a hobo credit card. Okay, this here, dude. Especially when hammock camping, got my little hammock set up there, got the rain fly, or the bug net, and the, uh, the suspension system, and the hammock, but you need to be able to cut shit out of your way. Uh, a big heavy saw sucks. Really, this is the most epic little backpacking saw. It was like $7, it's the shit. So I highly, highly recommend one of these. Okay, I don't really carry a whole lot of shit, but I will say I love this fucking thing. This is a monocular. I can see a long ways with this thing. It's a little heavy, but it's a rugged one. All right, and uh, it pulls its weight. I can s infiltrate the train yards on top of the mountains. It's dope for, uh, for the look overlooks even by the 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 any, any way you cut it dude having one of these is dope gotta have one of these all right i don't my leatherman my multi-tool is a small one doesn't have a can opener this is just a little can opener gotta have a sew kit uh, i would hope that you care enough about dental hygiene to carry this a lot of kids surprisingly don't i do all right i got a little mini leatherman this is basically has everything that i don't have that I need without carrying a big Leatherman, you know, uh, tweezers, scissors, without all the bullshit of a big multi-tool because, you know, first and foremost, I carry a Benchmade. Yeah, this is a heavy fucking banger, but if you get in a knife fight, you want this with you. And remember, always have a backup plan 
in case shit goes south quick i can get this out and in the side of somebody's neck before that's even out of my pocket uh you want a tact a tactful flashlight not just a headlamp headlamps are good but i normally keep this in one pocket and this in the other so uh you know in an urban environments after dark if i have to blind a motherfucker and then I, you know, if I have to, I can defend myself with the knife. But always bring, they're good, not only so that you can see, they're good so that you can make other people not see, if it comes to that. This, I would just like to thank my homeboy Alex for giving me this in Denver. This fucking thing is the shit. I can go up to any building and turn the water on and get water coming out. Uh, being a backpacker you get confused with a homeless person a lot and unfortunately there's homeless people got it rough nobody wants them anywhere fucking near them and when you go in stores and try to get water and shit they're looking at you like from mars and get the fuck out of here this little guy solves that problem because you know fuck them i'll just go up and you know take their water without asking fuck them it, it, honestly it's better for everyone that way i don't want to go in there and look re weird anyway all right you need to carry in the summer you need to carry at least at least four liters of water i have a dog so i'm hit carrying five if you get on the train this time of year you better have i take this and a gallon of water uh you run out of water you, you just don't run out of water okay i know you, there is a common theme here i do seem to have a camouflage addiction i understand that and you can only wear but so much camo through the cities before you start looking weird there i understand that but just for instance last night i uh was wrapped up in this tarp and no one can see me i was just a little tarp bubble uh what was poking out was in that camo hoodie so it, it definitely has its advantages okay clothing wise good set of thermals all right one set of pants one set of shorts a wife beater uh you know, a neck wrap, a beanie, and yeah, I mean, don't leave home without the flying squirrels hat. Shout out to Richmond there, repping Nutsy. All right, this is a down, uh, like little puffer jacket. It, it doesn't weigh shit, and I tell you what, dude, it's warm. It's warm as fuck. I love it. You know, again, if I wasn't going through 40 degree temperature changes and shooting all over the country i'd prop this time of year i would not have that gore-tex if i was on the appalachian truck things fucking heavy but uh but you can't beat that thing on the train in fact if all else fails i can just wrap up in that gore-tex and not even pull my sleeping bag out and just you know that, that gore-tex will keep you alive um i know that i've literally had that gore-tex over 20 years i've raged mountains in california appalachian you, you name it me and that gore-tex have done some rugged ass shit and it, you, it's like and it's still like brand new I, it, it's fucking military shit you can't beat it good shit campsite shoes all right but i mean i, I meet some rugged ass people dude that just don't change their socks their feet are fucking red and smell like shit they they fucking they have a you know one pair of big ass boots i can't do that man when i get to camp at night dude you gotta have your feet legit or if your feet fucked you're fucked this is my little laundry system soap uh you know really i only keep the only laundry i ever have is socks if i'm gonna wash all the rest of my stuff then i just wash it so i really only need that as far as dirty clothes i'll always bring at least three pairs of socks i'm wearing one um you know try to make them last two days that leaves you doing laundry socks at least like once a week it's a pain in the ass but is what it is okay here this is a extra cell phone and i also carry an extra set of headphones that way if some if i lose either one i still have both i keep this in my pack and the other two on me at all times that way if my pack gets stole i still have a cell phone if i lose my cell phone and i still have my pack i still have a cell phone so man this is all about having a backup plan you know when you're a thousand couple thousand miles away from home you don't know anybody um no one's coming to get you you know what i mean and like and if you're you're low on money or something and then you lose your phone get ready for a rugged time you know so uh, i've been through a few rugged times and uh i've learned from them 
and um that is a luxury to carry an extra one but you know gotta carry a fucking battery pack power and cell phones are huge i did 900 miles when i was younger on the appalachian trail with no cell phone i have no fucking clue how or why i would do i would never do that again this is important man this is a bug net a bag bug go can ruin your life earplugs okay if you're on a train for 24 hours non-stop it's fucking loud loud as a bitch i highly recommend earphones knife sharpener a lot of this stuff self-explanatory you know i do smoke marijuana uh so gotta have three different types of dabs i don't really smoke flour much but if this situation arises let's get a backpacker friendly flower pipe again some of this stuff's uh self-explanatory get a good headlamp good headlamp these are water purification tablets you can always boil too if you have a good stove which is a must for the dabs i mean you know if nothing else if you don't like hot coffee which i'm about to have in the morning nothing else you got to have a stove to smoke your dabs so that's very important got a good mess kit here uh just a little bit of pack food right now that's that's one of the advantages of train hopping is to backpacking you know if you're in the woods you got to carry a shit ton of food but if you're shooting around cities all day you really only got to carry a little bit of food so you know uh okay the so Let's go back to this real quick. This is my sleeping system here. This is a hammock, bug fly hammock, and the suspension system. I use this tarp as the rain fly for that, but this tarp also doubles as a bivy. That's why I take these little gear ties like I did last night and kind of zip up one side or whatever. Always make sure that the water's draining down the hill from you, and I've literally rode downpours just wrapped in a tarp and you can honestly stay pretty dry if you're set up right and know what you're doing um you know okay gotta take sunglasses what have we been? oh my god there look dry bags these will save your fucking life i've been on the train in a monsoon and got out like water gushing out of the pack sleeping bag was still dry my sleeping mat was still dry. My pillow, my sleeping, this, all this goes in here. All that was still dry. And all my extra clothes were still dry. And again, my electronics. So as long as you keep your electronics, your clothes and your sleeping system dry, everything else can get wet and you'll be okay. If those three get fucked, you're in, again, you're in for some rugged ass shit. Okay, well, you know, this is Black Jack's little fucking cup I made. Uh, he's a small dog, so he doesn't drink with so much at once. This is actually perfect. Baby wipes. Um, if you don't know, now you know. They don't leave home without them. Or stay the fuck from around me because you're probably going to be unhygienic. All right, so this is my 40-degree little lightweight summer bag. I had a zero degree all winter last winter when I was in the Appalachian Mountains and freezing. I've got this new thing where if it's if it's cold, if I'm cold in this 40, I'm just gonna go south. And if it gets hot, I'm just gonna go north. I'm done fucking around uh, heat with heat waves and fucking um, hyper, you know, fucking getting cold as a bitch in the winter. Now, uh, I used to, okay, I used to make fun of everybody with the camping pillows. I really did. You know, I used to make fun of everybody with blow up inflatable mats. Oh, the older I get, the more I fucking like these. You know, again, with the hammock, you don't even have to carry a mat. But I didn't use the hammock last night. I I'm set up to basically, I can do whatever I need wherever I need. Uh, now, I uh, got this little cover that I custom sewed on here to keep blackjack's paws off because these mats are expensive man they're $120 you know what I'm saying you got to try to keep them in good condition oh, I gotta fix that but uh this keeps blackjack's claws from fucking it up and I can just lay it on the ground not worry about it popping as much and it makes it a little bit more comfortable it does a little bit heavier not my choice of design I got this free from my uh and it actually it, it, it just fit right so i rocked with it for now i'd eventually like to fix this with something camouflage but you know i just haven't gotten around to it yet i know it's kind of retarded looking but i don't care it's comfortable my main thing is it's not as tactful as the rest of my gear as far as color wise i also do not like that orange in my sleeping bag fucking uh you know all part of this is about staying hidden 
and leaving no trace never type of trash behind you know um you don't want to blow the campsite up for the next person that's going to use it or you might find yourself back there uh so take pride in wherever you stay because i'm just a visitor and a guest in most of these communities but uh but that's it that's pretty much all i own really I and mean, this is it this is all i have in the world uh everything else is gone when you spend you know a year and a half on the road almost now you know my construction co or tree company you know all the other belongings i had you know they're just gone and i don't care this is all i fucking need i've got a little bit of money right now thanks to, uh donations off of facebook and um you know and for getting jobs i just worked for a, a little bit in richmond so i'm actually doing okay at the moment but you know money goes quick so anyway uh man it's just a beautiful day it feels really good to be out that heat we're on the way to the train yard now we're about four miles outside of albany the train yard's about eight so uh i'll check back in here when hopefully we'll be in boston by tonight slapping blackjack out <laughs>